Why did you come here today? Well, I think it's important. I've been working with, and our company's been working with the Autonomy Institute for a couple of years on this uh, issue of intelligent infrastructure. Autonomy, artificial intelligence, our ability to really advance as a society technologically is dependent on infrastructure that gets built that supports that. And so far we're lagging, you know, the country's lagging other nations. And so we, um, we think it's important to be out here talking about in, in intelligent infrastructure, of course, why Texas is a good forum to get people educated about the importance of it. And, and that goes right to my next question. Why Texas? And why, why Texas? What is it about why Texas that just says, you know what, I need to be a part of this? Well, why Texas is a good opportunity to uh, bring people in, let them see the value of having their companies, you know, come to Texas, and which are many, you know, not to mention, you know, how business friendly the state is. And so I think for our company, you know, we have a good presence in, in, in the, particularly the Dallas area on 5G and communications. So we're excited to be a part of it and really spread the gospel of, uh, of Texas. When you see all these people here and all these companies that have all come together, infrastructure, whatever it might be, I just wonder, is there something that you hope to have be the takeaway for you personally and the message that you might share with all your peers that are here uh, when this is all said and done at the end of the day? Well, as we saw you know, here in Texas with the um, electrical issues, uh, with the storms, and we're seeing uh, today with um, the hurricane in, in Florida, you know, we're really focused on secure, resilient, intelligent infrastructure, not just intelligent, but survivable, the ability to continue to operate even in the worst of times. And so, you know, I'm hoping that we can start to build this national conversation and start it here in Texas. Uh, within Texas, we really want to build infrastructure within Texas to help Texas be survivable, resilient for whatever may come. Okay. And everybody I've talked to said Texas is just the most, it's too bad we don't have 49 other states just like Texas. Your thoughts on that? Uh, absolutely. And I think um, it's proving out that the way to really look at you know a state in terms of providing economic opportunity for people is really to be friendly to the business community, you know, really be friendly to businesses. And I think that it's shown that states that aren't friendly to business, those, those people and businesses are leaving. And so that creates, those businesses are what create economic opportunity and jobs for people. And I think that's so important. The American dream is about economic opportunity. We, we know freedom. But the part that I think we've lost over the last three decades uh, is this idea of economic opportunity and the American dream. And I think that's one thing that, that I like about Texas because I think it epitomizes why people are attracted to America, economic opportunity. Uh, why did you, did you start this company? I did, I, was, uh, I spent almost 30 years in the Air Force. Um, I learned to fly B-2 stealth bombers around the world to protect the country. What I recognized is we didn't have infrastructure that met the need in terms of protecting us here at home. So I said, hey, I'm going to take that uniform off. I'm going to put this uniform on. I'm going to, I'm going to continue to serve the country, but I'm going to serve it by developing technology that's resilient and secure for the American people.